Hi everyone, this is a Frugal Engineer. Welcome to this Arduino tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use the HC05 Bluetooth module. This chip component will allow us to add Bluetooth connectivity to our projects. In the demo, I will show as well how to use the DHT11 module to read the humidity and temperature of the room and send them to the Android phone using the Bluetooth module. Of course, as always, you will find all the links, information and code in the description below and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or you can send me an email. This video is the first part of a Bluetooth tutorial series. In my next video, I will show you how I created an Android application that is able to receive and send information via Bluetooth. Please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss it. As a personal note, I would like to say that I learned a lot working on this project. Before, I didn't know much about technical details of Bluetooth, and now I think I have a really good understanding. Let's check now the list of elements that we need for this project. We'll need the Bluetooth module HC05. This particular module can be configured as a master as a slave. This means a master device can search for other Bluetooth devices and initiate the connection. However, for this particular example, the device will act only as a slave, waiting for an external connection to happen. By the way, this module is quite cheap, usually it's around 4 pounds. To detect the humidity and the temperature of the room, we'll use the DHT11 module. We'll also need a bunch of cables, one 1K ohm resistor, one 2K ohms resistor, we need the breadboard to connect all the elements and of course the Arduino board. Ok, so let's review now the integration diagram of this project. First, we have the three pins from the module DHT11, the one that will tell us the temperature and humidity of the room. The signal pin goes connected to, this, to, the, pin, to the digital pin number 7 from the Arduino. Then we have the VCC pin that goes connected to the 5 volt. And then the ground, of course, it's connected to the ground from the Arduino. Then from the Bluetooth module AC05, we have the RXT pin. That uh, we just need to be a little bit careful here in order to reduce the voltage from the TX output pin from the Arduino. We need to use a voltage divider here. So we have 1K resistor between TX and the RXT um, pin from the Bluetooth module. And then we have a 2K resistor that connects directly to the ground. So in that way we can uh, reduce the voltage to 3.3. Then we have the ground connection, of course, again connected to the ground. And then we have the VCC that is connected here, that as well is connected to the 5 volts. As you can see, it's quite a simple diagram. Of course, you will find this schematic on the description of the video below. Ok, so let's review now the Arduino code. It's quite simple, we just need to set a few global variables. We initialize the DHT component, this is the one that will allow us to measure the temperature and humidity of the room. We set the baud rate, and then in the load function we get the humidity, the temperature in, in Celsius, and then the temperature in Fahrenheit, but we are not using this one. We print this on the serial bus if there is an error and if everything goes well then we print this string on the serial bus that will contain the humidity and the temperature and then after two seconds we start again the loop. Of course you will find this code on the description below. For this demo I am using the Arduino Bluetooth controller app. This app allows us to read any information set by the Arduino. You can find this application for free on the Android Store. I am sure for iOS there are similar applications as well. As well, in these applications you can also send commands to the Arduino as well. For example, if you want to control other components like LEDs or servos. I am using the terminal option that basically displays all the information sent by the Arduino in real time. I would also like to share the humble Android application that I have developed. I really like programming and I thought it was a good idea to learn how Bluetooth works in Android. It's really simple to use, we just click on the button search link Bluetooth devices, 
If we find the HC05 device on the list, the button connect to HC05 gets enabled, and if we press it, it will open the connection to the Arduino Bluetooth module and return a reading of the humidity and temperature of the room. And we have also a button to clear the results as well. In my next video, I will show you how you can build your own Android application to communicate with the Arduino using Bluetooth. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial. I learned a lot working on this project and I'm excited for the huge number of experiments we can do in the future. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I just started on YouTube and it will be a really good motivation to continue creating these videos. Thank you so much for watching, until the next one.